Hey, and welcome to DIY Tuesday. I'm Sandy and I'm from down in Mesa, Arizona at the Mesa store. Today we're going to go over all kinds of fun things to make for your pets. Um, let me run through the recipes really quick. Out of our Essential Life book, we're going to do a really good one. It's called Bad Breath Biscuits. In fact, I even made some up ahead of time. And if you added a little bit of sugar in them, which maybe we shouldn't, um, they'd be really great for people actually. They're not bad at all. Then we're going to look at a recipe out of our new lookbook. Isn't that pretty? Purifying pet shampoo. We'll go over the recipe in a little while on that. This is also out of our new spring 2017 lookbook, Pet Deodorizer. I really like the colors of these and the recipes are just awesome. This one I've not made up yet. This is Pet Calming Blend. It is also out of the Spring 2017 lookbook. So, let's get ready and let's start our recipe for the Bad Breath Biscuits for your dogs. Okay, I've kind of cheated and got a little bit of a head start. Um, in here I, all, I already have my oats, well my flour. I'm going to add a half a cup of oats. And there's two cups of flour in there. Like I said, the recipe is in the Essential Life book, page 414, under pets. We're just going to mix that up just a little bit, and then we're going to set it back aside. Next, we're going to add all of the wet ingredients. Um, it calls for three eggs. I learned this the hard way earlier when I made um, up the biscuits. If your eggs are too cold, they're going to solidify your coconut oil. So I have them out for a while and they've warm, they've got almost to room temperature now. Um, and believe me, once they solidify, it's not real fun. Mix them up a little bit before you start adding the other ingredients. I think that helps. We have our two tablespoons of peanut butter. Our two tablespoons of coconut oil. And we're not talking fractionated coconut oil. We're talking the regular cooking type of coconut oil. Any brand is fine. Just choose your favorite. This is really healthy for the dogs, not only inside, but will really help their coats become really clean. Just helps the same way it helps with people. It calls for a pinch of salt, and that is optional. I've chosen to put pink Himalayan salt in mine. Um, I know it's good, and um, just a teeny little pinch is all I'm doing. It calls for, I believe it is, um, Okay, excuse me while I look. A quarter teaspoon. I put a pinch. I'm going to mix this all up a little bit more again. Just to kind of get it going. And yay! Look, this time my coconut oil did not solidify in the cold, cold eggs. So, I just saved you a really nice step there. Next, it calls for two bananas. Um, this is what I learned because my kids have always loved banana bread, as do I. Um, and sometimes you can't get the bananas quite mushed enough. I've learned a little baggy tip. You put the bananas in, break them up a little bit, mush out all the air, and then you just mush them. You can get them down to where they're just almost as liquefied as you can get a banana. And it makes it so much easier when you're making a recipe. I think my mom or grandma taught me this one. But, um, great when you're using bananas. I don't know if you can tell how, like, just nice the mush these are. So then to get them all out, 
over in one of the other bowls for now so we don't get the raw egg all over. Um, and I did do the eggs first and of course washed my hands so I didn't contaminate other stuff as I touched it. Um, we always have to be careful with that. And toss this away. And we're going to mix this up. Now after this is all mixed up is when you're going to add your essential oils. It calls for peppermint oil and it calls for cinnamon. The peppermint oil you're going to do three to six drops and a lot of that depends it says on the size of the dog. So if you have a little dog and a big dog either make two batches or do with a lower amount or maybe even just break one of the bigger basket, biscuits in half so that the dog, the smaller dog, doesn't get as many. So this one is for a smaller dog. I have one of my kids who has a big dog. Well, she has a little dog too, so maybe I'll just do three in this one also of the peppermint. And then one drop of cinnamon. This is the coconut oil will help with the bad breath, and so will the essential oils. And um, to blend this just a little bit quicker, I found this morning, I used my magic bullet. Didn't want to pull out my big mixer, and this had it done in no time at all. So excuse the noise for a minute while I do this. You're going to mix it in with your dry ingredients. This is such an easy recipe and it's really a healthy dog treat which I've not seen a lot out on the market that are healthy. Love when we can get these good recipes out of these books. That the people care so much not just about people but about our pets which are our loved ones too. So you want to mix it up nice and good. It makes about 12 big dog biscuits. Let me show you. Makes about 12 this size. If your dog's little, maybe you want to make them a little bitter, a little bit smaller, and you're going to get more than 12. Okay. Then you just want to grab your cookie sheet. I've already sprayed this with a little bit of oil. And then you just decide what size is your dog, what size do you want. After we get it on the cookie sheet, I'm going to make these a little bit smaller because one of the dogs in the family is a little teeny dog. And after they're on the cookie sheet, Throw them in the oven at 350 preheated for 20 minutes. 20 minutes was perfect for that size I did, um, which was really nice. And it is as easy as this. So this one with doing a little bit smaller of a biscuit, you're going to probably get, I don't know, maybe almost double the batch out. So it all depends, like I said, on your dog size according to the size of the biscuit and according to the amount of peppermint that you do use. Okay. Voila! To the other. And I'm back. <laughs> um, so that is our Bad Breath Dog Biscuits. Once again, um, the recipe was two cups of flour, a half a cup of oats, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and that is optional, two bananas, three eggs, two tablespoons of peanut butter, two tablespoons of coconut oil, and three to six drops of peppermint, once again, depending on the size of your dog, 
and one drop of cinnamon. Mix all dry things together, all wet things, and then mix them together after that. And then bake for 20 minutes at 350. Um, if you don't have a dog treat, um, we have these awesome jars, glass, that you can store your biscuits in. So, nice for maybe a, a friend's that you want to share this with. Okay. One of our next recipes we're going to be doing is the deodorizing spray. I know I already have it mixed up, but I'm going to do it again. Um, this is, is really, really neat. It's kind of like spring cleaning for your animals, like let's get them done and then do the house. It's, it's kind of what I was looking at when I saw these. Um, and in the pet deodorizer, we're going to put 10 drops of the cleansing blend. And this goes in a four ounce spray bottle. These we have in all kinds of colors and sizes. Um, so you're not limited to, to what you're doing. Um, I just chose clear. The frosted would have looked really pretty with the, the label, but that's strictly up to you. And we're going to put two drops of protective blend. The rest we're going to fill with water. And I forgot my water, so I'm going to step over here again, folks. And one thing, if you notice that I did, um, then you just put it back on, and each time you use it, you want to shake it really good. And just spray it on them and work it down into their, their fur. Um, when I do recipes, in case um, I should spill oil or something, I usually put the labels on first, so then I don't have to clean the bottle again. So, and that is how pretty it ends up looking. That not pretty. This one is pet calming, and it is the fractionated coconut oil. And with this, I'm going to use our funnel, put the oil in, and I want to leave room. Well, it's not a whole lot, it's just three drops of lavender. The roller bottle back on, put the cap on, and with this you want to um, roll it lightly on your pet's feet. If your pet doesn't like the roller on it, put it on your fingers and just rub it on them. Get a little bit of personal time with your pet. And don't use it more than once a day is, is what the recipe suggests. So. That also is in the lookbook, as is in this. Our next recipe is the purifying pet shampoo. I'm just going to tell you about this. Um, since we are on a certain amount of time here. Um, this is really awesome. Um, and it doesn't look like it's real, like it would foam up a lot, but once you get them wet and get it on there, it, it really, it really does work well and they're uh, they smell good afterwards like I said we're spring cleaning, spring cleaning our pets with these blends we're calming them and we're also giving them goody treats that's going to help with their breath and their insides and their coat um, you put it in an eight ounce clear oval bottle we once again have these in the store there's a cup of water in here a tablespoon of Castile soap a quarter teaspoon of e vitamin E oil, three drops of peppermint, two drops of Roman chamomile, two drops of cleansing blend, and one drop of serenity, or cedarwood, I'm sorry. Um, shake it all up. It's a really liquidy one. It's not thick like a lot of shampoos, but once you've got your dog or your pet, whichever it is, cat, maybe even a horse, um, go ahead and 
put it on and they shampoo up and they get some suds on them and it's good and it's clean because it is a cast style soap and it's it's really pure it's really good for people for pets for everybody thank you for joining us today if you have any questions about any of these recipes be sure and ask um, once again the biscuits and the essential life book these other ones are in the new spring 2017 lookbook the download is now available. Just go to oillife.com, go to the menu, and you will find where it says downloadables. And you can go in and you can download this. Oops. These labels I actually printed off from the, from the download. So um, really awesome. Great way to do things. Have a good, good day, and I'm glad you joined us. Post any questions you have, and I'll jump out there and answer them just as soon as I can.